Although the Downtown West Orange Alliance is primarily focused on downtown businesses, we recognize the importance that our West Orange community is made up of several parts of town, each with a distinct challenge and varying concerns. I'm here at the Regal Bank on Eagle Rock Avenue in the Pleasantdale section of town, and I'm joined on the show by Roz Moskowitz-Belsky. Roz, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Joe. Now, you are the uh, chairman, chairperson of the uh, Pleasant Valley Way Civic Association. Can you tell me briefly what the Pleasant Valley Civic Association is? Sure, Joe. Uh, about a year ago, I requested the accident rate for Pleasant Valley Way. I was hearing sirens. Uh, I was noting that there are no blinking lights in front of the school. There, it's very dark at night on Pleasant Valley Way. And uh, incidentally, my father died. He was hit by a car on Pleasant Valley Way in 1997. These are all factors that led me to ask Mayor Parisi the accident rate. And it's very high. It's over 130 accidents per year in about a two-and-a-half-mile stretch of road. So that started the entire di the dialogue between county, town, and um, state, because 280 is state. So getting three governments together to address these concerns are what the Pleasant Valley Civic Association is all about. So safety is the primary concern, and now you also are a property owner, so commerce uh, along the uh, Pleasant Valley Way corridor is also important to you. Um, but you, you had mentioned to me, we were speaking earlier, uh, your, your dad unfortunately was killed in a car accident, and uh, I, I was surprised to learn from you that you said nothing really has changed in terms of the traffic. Uh, can you elaborate a little more on that? Sure. Well, it seems like the only thing that's changed is the increased volume. There are now 24 and a half thousand cars per day that travel on Pleasant Valley Way. And we have very few pedestrian crossings. We have ill lighting. We have, you know, I should be able to cross from the post office to CVS. I should be able to cross from the TD Bank to Wells Fargo or to Burger King or to Dunkin' Donuts, and I'm not able to do that. And because we have senior citizens, we have handicapped, we have an orthodox population, that walks predominantly, you know, Friday night, all day Saturday. And these are the concerns that we have. We, it's, it's, we have 3,000 school children at risk. Now, what kind of um, uh, obstacles have you ru run into uh, the fact that uh, Pleasant Valley Way is a county-run highway and not necessarily controlled by the town? It's been uh, quite a challenge getting three governments to acknowledge each of their own responsibility on Pleasant Valley Way. We have finally, uh, November was our breakthrough meeting. We hope to be a part of a larger safety commission and pedestrian traffic commission under the township auspices. Uh, we had everybody sitting at the town. We had the Board of Ed. We had county representatives. We had town representatives. We had, we, we are in touch with Milo Jacy right now in terms of getting uh, 280 assessed and more signage. So uh, where do you see this uh, going from here in terms of uh, uh, arriving at a resolution? Continued passion, persistence. Uh, we will we keep bringing the issues up. We need to have the county recognize the changes that have to be made. And they have put the speed boxes up. They are now collecting data. I don't know if anybody's noticed. It's now on the southbound side. We're moving. Of course, we're not moving as fast as we'd like, but we are making headway. And now that... So to speak, the light has shined on the problems, some of the problems. We now have a better shot uh, at number of getting grant money, getting the, the county and the town to work together to resolve these issues. Well, Roz, uh, as a representative of the Downtown West Orange Alliance, we're certainly um, uh, willing to bring uh, uh, exposure for this problem because uh, this is a problem in Pleasantdale, but it's certainly a, pl a problem that uh, is, is in all parts of West Orange. And uh, uh, we thank you for uh, your, your efforts in, in, in trying to come up with some sort of solution. And uh, thank you for joining us on the show today. And uh, certainly so sorry to hear about your father, but I'm sure that he would be uh, uh, looking down proud on your efforts to uh, bring a change even all these years later. Thank you very much. Roz, what is the speed limit on Pleasant Valley Way in West Orange? Oh, good question, Joe. It's very, uh, it's not highly indicated signage-wise. Sometimes it's 35, it goes down to 30. We are trying to follow Montclair and Verona to get the business district down to 25 miles an hour, which it should be, which would extend right down to the school, which would be great. Well, certainly safety is the concern, as we discussed earlier. Uh, but in all fairness, it's probably a bit confusing for drivers at this point. Is there any credibility to that? It's very confusing. It's a friend of mine did get a ticket, and 
She said, I didn't really know what the speed limit was. So we're going to try to make it simple. We're going to continue the 35 mile an hour at the Verona border, drop it down to 25 at the business district, and hopefully that'll resolve some of the accident. Uh, as safety goes, so does the commerce in Pleasanton. Absolutely. Okay, thank you, Ross.